special treats, it's sponge cake. In case you haven't noticed by a special something on my head, today is my birthday. I'm turning an age which most of the internet would consider not even geriatric, but like in the grave. And I'm sure you can guess what age that is, which is 26. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's kind of time that we start challenging the whole idea that once you get past 24, you're practically not even alive anymore, at least by internet standards, because there's just, it's such a warped way of thinking that I'm sure like is like not even good for like teenagers and kids and stuff because it's like, I can assure you that most people in their 20s have no idea what they're doing. I have no idea what I'm doing still. And then that combined with the fact that most kids are moving out from their parents later and later because the economy is just so messed up. And like so many other like factors <laughs> that have been coming into play. I mean, I think it's time that we start to give ourselves a little bit more lenience. I've been hearing that 30 is the new 20, so... Actually, I'm, I'm, I still have qualms with that too. <laughs> but anyways, that's something for another video. I feel like 26 years old is like this weird in-between where you've just surpassed this quote-unquote milestone of 25, but you're not close yet enough to the next milestone, which I guess would be 30 for you to be looking forward to like that next chapter. So I feel like, I don't know if it's like something that everybody feels at this age, but I'm feeling like it's kind of putting me in a place where I'm just looking back at what I've done up until like, like through 25 years old into 26. And you know, I I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm not feeling too great. I know I've had a lot of accomplishments, but there's also a lot of stuff that I still have yet to do um, that I would have hoped to have accomplished by now. And one of those things that I've been reflecting about is like how I've like held myself back in a lot of ways from expressing myself the way that I want to. And part of that is in my appearance. For example, with body mods, there's actually a lot of body modifications that I've wanted. Not like plastic surgery or anything like that, but like tattoos, piercings, and like other types of modifications that I've like wanted to do but like have been hesitant about because of how it would be received by the world. I mean like I'm sure you all know like working is just like, it, it, I, I always wonder like how it would be treated in the workplace as a result of that and would I be able to find a job and stuff like that and like I think about like me being a black woman like that already kind of <laughs> putting a couple of bars up right away um and then to add on to that like body mods and all of that i get worried about how that would kind of make things harder for me and then beyond that fear of like how like i would be treated i've also been worried about just regretting my body mods like anything that i do on my body i i get worried about changing my mind later about it and I know like most people have like tattoos and so they're always like, oh, it's like not that deep. It's not that serious. But then there's people that actually do end up regretting what they get. And I just, I feel like I could be one of those people that's just looks at something. I'm like, oh my God, I wish I never got this. I wish I could take this off, but I can't. <sighs> yeah, it's been really hard for me to like commit to any like real body mod beyond this nose piercing, which was a bitch to heal, by the way. It took way longer than anybody said it would because my nose just kept rejecting it and like, it was just as getting infected and stuff. There was all sorts of like issues that like slowed down the healing process with this. And then that also made me get worried about like, what hidden like complications can lie with me getting like another piercing or a tattoo or something like that. The main thing that I've been wanting the most though is a tooth gem. I thought what better day than today for me to just be like, screw it, I'm getting me a tooth gem and take you guys with me. I've done some research online and you know, some people say you shouldn't really do it because it can lead to tooth damage from like the like not necessarily the glue but not being able to clean behind the gem so like you can have like cavity built like you can have like plaque buildup which can lead to cavities on the tooth but then at the same time i read that these tooth gems barely last like a couple months most of the time 
six months seems to be the average um, but sometimes if you're really good with it it can last up to three years and I think that just because like just by the fact that it doesn't really last for very long it's not as like permanent as you know saying getting that a tattoo obviously I feel like it might not be as bad of a thing for me to go for at least as like my next stage because my new my new year's resolution right now is to just be like screw it I'm going for whatever it is I want to do coming forward authentically and doing what I want to do and being my honest self and showing up as my honest self and I thought you know if I'm gonna take a baby step towards that I can start with a tooth gem and I, if I feel like it's not really working out I can take it off but most likely it'll fall off before I even get to that point. <laughs> I'll be going alone today because my birthday happens to fall on a Thursday today. So naturally, my two friends in town, as well as my boyfriend, Rudy, they're all busy with work and classes and stuff. And like, I felt like if I just stayed home, like working too, and just like, cause I work from home. Uh, I figured if I just stay home, like, not doing anything and just moping around on my birthday it would put me in a really bad headspace so i thought what better thing to do today than get myself a tooth gem anyways i'm kind of running out of time so let's get right to it come on <laughs> The name of the tooth gem artist is Graciela, and she kindly welcomed me right from the front. She had me fill out a form which was basically to protect from any liability in case I'm allergic to anything used. The waiting area was super super duper cute with figurines and plushies and other cute little knickknacks. And it just made me feel safe and like this will be a nice sweet process. I also thought that the tattoo stencils were so pretty and cool, like the kinds of art styles I'd want if I get a tattoo. So definitely filing this for later as a potential spot for my first tattoo. At this point, it's finally starting to hit that this is real. I'm actually getting a tooth gem. As she was finishing up with another client, she gave me these crystals to look at for me to choose from for my tooth gem. Took me a little off guard at first that they're small, but they're going on my teeth after all. These clear heart ones were just what I was looking for. Eep, she just called me over. Here she's basically explaining that she does free removal at any time and two months guaranteed. So if anything happens to the tooth gem under two months, she does fix it for free and here we go it's beginning so she just kind of like put a bunch of stuff on my teeth that I had no idea what <laughs> um, but it made sense to me because I figured it was to kind of just make the gem stick while I decide where exactly I want it to go so kind of just I think scoring the teeth in a way without directly damaging it a little white bar thing, I had no idea either. She just warned me that it doesn't taste good. And here she is putting the little heart gem on my tooth. Not for real just yet. Just for me to take a look and see where I want it to go, where it looks like it makes sense to me. I'm holding a mirror off camera for me to take a look. <music> 
And after I approved of its location, she got going with the UV light, basically, you know, attaching it to my tooth. It's super easy, painless here. I think the most discomfort is just smiling for a really long time, but it was only for like 10 minutes, maximum, probably five. And that was it. I am obsessed with it. So happy. So, so, so happy. Oh my God. Ah! To celebrate, I took myself to a nearby Starbucks, which happened to be in Avance, even though I checked to make sure that it wouldn't be in a weird location so I can sit and be cute, but here we are. The barista was so sweet though. It honestly made it so worth it. I'm glad I ended up there. Every time I took a sip and got a little bit of ice, I got worried that it was my tooth gem that I was chewing on, not ice. But alas, it was still there. And I Ubered home. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited about my tooth gem! Ah! Ah, look at it. Ah, Yo, yeah, it's just crazy. This is it, you guys. I'm gonna do a close up. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Oh my god, it's so cute. I requested that Graciela put it at like the center of it instead of towards the front because I kind of like that you can't really see it unless I like go out of my way to show it to you because I don't know, like I said before, I was just like so worried about like different situations where like I'd be worried about like people judging me and stuff like that or like not quite respecting me in certain environments like because of the gem so I'm really excited that it's like perfectly placed like if I smile a little bit to the side it hits the light it's really like such a cute little detail and I'm already thinking about ooh, what if it was on both sides etc <laughs> but wow like I'm thinking also after I got it, I was just like, wow, that's it. Cause it was such a quick application. It was like, I don't know, like 10 minutes, <laughs> like max. I think the longest amount of time spent was on like the UV light to like make sure it stays. Um, and yeah, I mean, I got the tooth gem. Um, I don't know what else to say. I feel like it was just not a big deal. <laughs> and that's the thing, right? I feel like a lot of times we build things up in our heads to be a lot like, more of a big deal than it actually is. Um, but maybe that's just a case with this tooth jam or whatever, but I'm just so glad, like, I don't know, this like immediately like cheered up my spirits. I feel cooler and I feel like I'm more in line with like how I want to present and stuff. So this is so cool. And I got my little matcha drink. It's so freaking good. Like this matcha with pistachio cold foam pistachio syrup as well so good sometimes tiktok does get it right so i definitely recommend trying that out anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and as always love you guys until next time yeah. time to open some presents